All right, so this lesson, lesson 50, is on decimal number on the decimal number line and dividing by a fraction. So here we have this decimal number and we want to know what y is on this number line. So decimal lines are always divided up into tenths. So if you don't believe me, we can count it. So 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. So it's divided up into tenths for decimals. So we know that y comes after 7. So that means my whole number has to be 7. Now I need to figure out what my decimal is. To do that, I need to count over how many places were in the line. So 1 2 3 4. That means we have 7 and 4 tenths. So if you write it as a fraction, it would look like this. 4 tenths. So to write that as a decimal, it's going to be 7 and 4 tenths. And that's the correct answer. So on this one, we're going to be working with dividing by fractions. So here we have this row of penny. It's two and a quarter inches long. So the diameter of one penny is three-fourths of an inch. And then I need to know how many pennies are needed to make a row of pennies six inches long. So my problem is six divided by three-fourths. Okay. So I'll show you the long way first and then the shortcut. So what we really need to figure out is how many pennies are in one inch. It told me how many are in two and a quarter inches. That doesn't help me. So I need to know how many are in one or how many are in one inch first. So that problem will be one divided by three fourths will equal something. Now the number of three fourths in one is going to be my reciprocal. So if you remember the reciprocal is when we flip these two numbers. Okay? So 1 divided by 3 fourths is equal to 4 thirds. Now that we have how many uh, pennies are in 1 inch, now I can figure out how many we need in 6 inches by multiplying 4 thirds by 6 over 1. 4 times 6 is 24. 3 times 1 is 3. So my answer is, is that I need eight pennies to make six inches. Right? So that's the full explanation. Now we did teach you the shortcut, which is a little bit easier. So since we know we need to find the reciprocal of this number to solve it, we can just automatically flip these two numbers. Okay. So the trick is to flip and multiply. So flip the second number and then multiply these two numbers together. So it would look like this. I would end up with 6 times 4 thirds. Okay, just like I did last time. So 6 times 4 thirds. So I flipped this number and made it into here, found the reciprocal. And then I multiplied these two numbers together, which is exactly what I did last time. So we're going to now solve it. 6 times 4 is 24. 3 times 1 is 3. And 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8. I got the same answer both ways. This way is a little bit easier and quicker. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.